Welcome back, my boys, and here we are. For those of you that weren't in the stream the other day uh, when we were playing the Jazz on Monday night, a uh, little bonus stream that I did because, you know, usually we do Saturday night live. We beat the Jazz in overtime 140 to 128. If you didn't get a chance to check out that stream, you know, at least go ahead and check out like the fourth quarter on, on because a lot of you guys get to see what I do, you know, recorded. And then I edit the videos, and obviously you guys don't get to see the entire game. Uh, so a lot of times you don't know what buildup there is getting from, you know, a first quarter where you're just starting off the game to a fourth quarter where you have fought all game and it is literally comes down to the wire like that. Uh, and that you'll see in that video why we have so many buzzer beaters on this channel the way that we do. But anyway, we are back. And as you can see with that dub, and the dub that we took against the New York Knicks here on January the 12th, we sit at 30 and 12 on the year. We have gotten ourselves to 30 wins well before the All-Star break. Well before. And I'm, I'm, I mean, you're talking almost a like a month. We are one month ahead of the All-Star break. We might be at 40 wins before All-Star. And that is incredible to think of considering when you look. We have won nine of our last 10. Nine of our last 10 games we have won. And we are rolling right now, my boys. But in this episode, what the, the goal is, uh, is to get up to this March 22nd matchup right here against the Las Vegas Risk. Because that is the game that we're going to be playing in the uh, in sat on the Saturday Night Live this Saturday night. Saturday, May 25th, starting 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Of course, if there is a playoff game on... Uh, which there very well may be. I believe it'll be a Boston versus uh, a Boston versus Indiana game, which will be a crazy game to watch. Everybody's going to want to see that series, no doubt. So depending on when that game is, uh, you know, I might move the time back a little bit. But either way, this is the matchup that we are going to be getting up to, hopefully in today's episode. And uh, one of the ideas that I got in the comments. Our boy Daylin, man, awesome feedback from Day, by the way. Uh, I, all you guys give just amazing feedback. He gave me some feedback and said, you know, it might be cool as we're going through and simming these games if we can maybe stop and simcast some of these games and we'll jump in in like the fourth quarter if it's a close game, especially if it's a close game, and maybe even jump in, you know, if it's a game where we need to try to come back uh, and see if we can do that because you know you boys know we can do that we can do it my plan right now is to get up to the all-star break and see what's going on and right now let me just show you guys real fast NBA all-star voting has just started in this universe here and as you can see in the west obviously in the backcourt you got SGA Luka Devin Booker Giddy so that's a new kind of a new name on the list I believe he may have made it last year or the year before but then you got Curry again the next year or so will be his farewell tour from the NBA uh, I do you know he is under contract as you can see I thought this year was gonna be his last season but he's not gonna go out you know while he's still under contract Ant-Man is there Lillard on the Lakers De'Aaron Fox Scoot Henderson love to see Scoot there but uh and then Kyrie not sure what's going on with Scoot looks like okay sprained left toe <laughs> spray left he sprained his toe all right day to day though so not bad if he, uh, if he gets voted in uh, and moves up a few spots, which, bro, 29 points a game. I mean, come on now. Then in the front court, you got Wemby, who is, uh, we knew he was going to be a perennial MVP candidate, and he is exactly that so far. Zion, Jokic, KD, Shaden Sharp, uh, that's a new name for sure. Sengun, Alperin Sengun, you'd love to see that. Cooper Flag, I hope this guy makes it because, again, any of you that didn't see the stream, bro, this boy has got that dog in him. You heard me? He's got it in him. Cat, Chet Holmgren, uh, and Scotty Barnes. That's another guy we'd love to see in it. Chet, at only 14 and 10, getting all-star votes, but he's a fan favorite. He's a fan favorite, so I can see why. Backcourt in the Eastern Conference, this is the one we really want to see. Ja Morant, as you can see, getting, you know, he's a top vote getter. Popular name, obviously. Then the two champions, two reigning, defending uh, you know, and NBA champs Garland and Mitchell are there. LaMelo, who is injured, might even be injured through the break. We'll have to see if he comes back uh, a little earlier than expected. Um, but he's getting the votes as well. And then your boy Hardy Party. If he's snubbed this year, my boys, I don't know what to say. Right now, in the last game that we played against the Knicks, I kind of played it off camera, but I do have some highlights for you boys that I will show. Uh, 
One to two weeks for back spasms. It happened at some point in the game, and I don't know when it happened. Maxi is there. Hallie, Cade Cunningham, Trey Young, and T Nikola Topic rounding out the backcourt in the East. And then, of course, the front court. Giannis, Tatum, Mobley, Brandon Miller. I mean, well-deserved. The dude is leading the NBA in scoring right now at 31 points a game. Cameron Boozer, another guy definitely deserves to be an all-star this year. Paolo, Bam, Pascal Siakam. Ron Holland is here. Bro, I did not see this. I saw the Hardy one earlier. I did not see Ronnie Holland in there. I feel like he should be over Pascal and Bam. And I'm not just saying that because of the points. I'm saying it because of his all-around game. Imagine, imagine a, a universe where we get two Badgers in the All-Star game when we have never had even one. That will be something to definitely, definitely look out for. But... As far as Hardy goes, like I said, he got injured in that last game. I am going to take him out. We take no chances with our boy Hardy party, and that is just the way it's going to be. Keontae George, I feel like, can hold his own. I feel like he can hold his own. Um, so who are we going to put in this spot, you might ask? I th Obviously, I'm going to put Marcus Smart. This is what he's here for, right? Uh, he is our, our reserve veteran for mentor purposes, and he's here to, to be there in case guys get injured and guys got injured. So, so first things first. Uh, as you can see, our first game is against Orlando. I think what I want to do is simcast the most interesting games uh, and, you know, jump in when, when needed. And this one, definitely an interesting game because, as you can see, this is a contender in the East. Real quick, I will show you guys the standings uh, for anybody that wasn't in that stream. But as you can see, we have taken over that second spot. And we have decisively taken over that second spot. And as you can see, Charlotte is up there with us as well in third Cleveland obviously still dominant uh you know coming off of a year where they won the championship they won it all my boys they got that larry ob and that's what our goal is the i mean obviously obviously that's the goal but orlando right behind them in fourth uh so yeah i mean i don't know what's going on with with miami but they fell off heavy like really really fell off heavy uh you know they started the year off so so scorching hot you got memphis you know again like i said the other night man we, we tend to forget sometimes that just two years ago in real life, this was a two seed, this team. You know, injuries decimated their, their season this year in real life. But this is a talented, talented ball club. Uh, Indiana right behind them, and we know what Indiana is capable of. We've seen it firsthand. Chicago in, uh, in, as the eighth seed right now over Boston, and we all know how 2K feels about the Boston Celtics. We all know how we feel about the Boston Celtics. New York. Then Toronto, the new look Toronto Raptors. I will also show you guys some, uh, you know, shots of some of the new uniform, new jerseys. Shout out to Hooper 2K for the bases on a lot of these jerseys. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I designed some and then got some inspiration from elsewhere for others. Washington, also a new look team. Doing pretty well this year. Not doing bad, you know, not, not bottom of the barrel like they've been in previous seasons. Milwaukee, Brooklyn, uh, Detroit, Philly, and Atlanta. Uh, rounds out the Eastern Conference. Then over in the West, Denver, dominant as ever, man. Jokic still going strong, even though he's getting, you know, a little bit up there in age in our universe. Then OKC, we know what this team is all about. We know what they're capable of. Seattle has been very, very good under the new regime in that front office there. It's been great so far, man. San Antonio at 26 and 17. Then you got the Pelicans, who just picked up some bonus. They're rolling right now, even though they lost their last game. Dallas, Houston, the risk are in eighth, man. Above 500 for an expansion team This at this point in the season is, is just, it's, it's fun to see, man. It's fun to watch. Utah, uh, who we just beat right behind them. The new look Clippers uh, are 20 and 21. Of course, you know, not the same Clippers that we, that we know right now. Uh, then Golden State, Portland, Minnesota, the Kansas City Deceivers at 16 and 23, Sacramento, Phoenix and Los Angeles somehow, man. I don't understand how they are literally the worst team in the NBA, them in Atlanta right now, record-wise, with a team that includes Dame Lillard, R.J. Barrett, and Anthony Davis. I just will never understand. But let's go ahead and start to simcast some of these games. Again, like I said, I'll simcast some of them, and then I'll just simulate others, uh, you know, and, and we'll get through it. But either way, man, uh, like I said, we will definitely be jumping in to some of these games if they get really interesting. Let's go ahead and start to sim with SimCast. I have the trade approvals on, obviously, because like this, this is a good example right here. 
So the there is a subscriber who is the GM of the Indiana Pacers. Shout out Ty O'Dwyer. Uh, I don't know. He This is not a trade that he would probably take, especially not giving up Carlton Cooper Dyke, the GOAT, obviously. Uh, but I have to put this on uh, because... You know, you need the okay from the GM to make any trades. So uh, that's their offer, and obviously, I don't, I can't see a scenario where you would do that in any, in any case. But we are on the road in Orlando. Let's see what we can do against. What just happened? Oh, I, I hit return to calendar. My bad. I hit. All right, all right. Let's get it. We'll start it off with fast, and they get off to a fast start. Let's see here. We'll speed it up a bit. Yeah, they're they're putting it on us, man. I'm telling you, oh my God, this is an absolute blowout. Look at that. Yeah, this is not going to be close. Man, oh man, first game without Hardy, and this is what happens. They're going to beat us by 50. That is embarrassing. Boys, we just got beat by 50. We just got beat by 50. <laughs> I mean, Ace 17, Castle 14, Keontae George, Holland, not a great game. Uh, this is just not a good game all the way around. I really don't even want to see this box score. Keontae George, 2 of 10 from 3. Not great. Paolo put up 48 on us, bro. Or you, Jacoby Walter is just a goon. I got to be honest. I am jealous of the way this team is constructed. It's a fantastic squad. We just got uh, we just got absolutely destroyed. Stomped into the ground. 50 points. I don't know. I can't remember the last time we, we, were, we lost by 50 even in the sim. And um, now we've got the Miami Heat, who is also rolling this season. Let's go ahead and simcast that one and see what we get here. Hopefully much better, man. We're on the road again. We got a little bit of a, uh, a, you know, we got a little bit of a road stand here. Let's see what we can do as we speed it up. Much better. Close game, though. Very close game. Back and forth big time. Yeah, we're jumping into this one. We are up to with a minute and a half to go. I probably should have even jumped in a little bit before this, but we are going to hop into this one and see what we can do. Ron Holland, is that his real stats? I'm not sure. Let's go. Let's keep this lead, my boys. We have got to keep it. Looks like they want He's us to run some clock here. Go, Castle. There's no way. Good, got it back. Got it back. There's just no way that he missed that just now. Oh, snatch block by Bam. What a... I thought that that first layup was a green release. Easy, bro. Yeah, this is going to come down the wire, boys. For sure. That's good defense. That's good defense. That is amazing defense by Koa Pete. Let's get it, baby. That was both him. Yeah, Castle stepped up on... Uh, who is this? Is this Devin Lassane? It is Devin Lassane. Shout out Devin Lassane. In there doing big things. They take a timeout. Ace has had a fantastic game. 23-5-1 for Ace Bailey. Stepping up big in Jaden Hardy's absence. We were not worried about Bam shooting the ball. That's for sure. Isaiah Priest. Nice steal. Go, Castle. Get you some, baby! Timeout heat again! Ace and Stephon Castle in the game. DeJounte Murray. We're on that. Nice floater by McNeely, though. Nice floater by McNeely. Where's Castle? And he's coming off a huge performance and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And oh, I got to clear. Yeah, clear. Got to take that straight to the bucket. Yeah, we're not going to get a green release because we're on Hall of Fame. That's about as close to a green as you can get. As you see, Keontae George and DeJounte Murray. He's get a little chippy here. Putting the pressure on, boys. Is a three. That's off. Denny going to go to the line. This is done, my boys. Leah McNeely, for good measure, will just toss one up. But it ain't going to be there as we will just dribble it out with Abdia. And that is win number 31 on the season. We're 31 and 13. The inverse, the inverse numbers there. Love to see it, man. We take a dub in Miami. Jimmy only with 16 minutes in this one. Not sure what's going on with him. Uh, but... Leah McNeely led the way for them with 21-7-7. He had a steal and a block. Uh, very efficient as well. Hero right behind him. 
And then it was ace for us. Ace, Keontae George, and Stephon Castle stepping up big in uh, Hardy's absence. Denny of Dia has been just an absolute monster on the boards. So we'll go ahead and skip right over the Laker and Risk games, uh, you know, and simulate through them. Because, like I said, we're going to be playing the Risk live. So I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, I want you guys to see them for the first time live on Saturday night. So we'll skip over those, and then we'll simcast the Cleveland game. Oh, man. Tell me you're kidding, man. Tell me you're kidding. This losing Hardy to back spasms and then losing Wayne to left knee tendonitis. All right, well, it's going to be the Caleb Gaskins show, you know, down low here, Ace Bailey and Caleb Gaskins. I'm actually going to switch this up here and put Holland at the four for right now. Uh, just because of Gaskins being down there, it'll be a little easier for him if, uh, you know, our best defender uh, on the team can take a little bit of that pressure off of the rookie. Ah, there we, that's what we like to see right there. That is what we like to see. Let's get Hardy back in the swing of things, my boys, for sure. So we'll rock with it like this nine-man rotation for now. Again, man, waiting for Grady and Carmichael to come back as well. But as you can see, man, we took... A, uh, we took a tough loss to the risk, and we won, though, against the Lakers. So let's take a look at some of these box scores. Barrett put up 31 on us. Lillard, Ming, O'Neal, Jordan Poole. And then on our side, it was Keontae George and Stephon Castle. Koa Pete, man, he is really going to, he's going to force me to play. He's going to force me to play him more. He really is, but good game. Good game all the way around. I'm afraid to even look at this one, man. Let's see. Ron Holland put up 24 and 9, 16 for George, 15 for Castle. Five turnovers is very, very tough, but three or four from three is promising. So as I'm sitting here editing this, I noticed that I somehow forgot to show the risk side of the box score. Uh, I don't know how I did that. I must have subconsciously just... Did, maybe I didn't want to see Collier, what he put up <laughs> in the back of my mind, but certainly didn't do it on purpose. As you can see, Collier, 29, 8, and 6. He had four steals and a block in this one, man. He showed up huge in his return to Louisville. As I'm thinking about it now... Just for storyline purposes, I probably should have played this game on live. I should have streamed it uh, because it is Collier's return, uh, and he was such a big part of this team. But anyway, as you can see, Sohan and Jamal Davis Jr. put up big numbers as well. Uh, and you'll notice uh, that the there's the elephant in the room here, uh, you know, uh, conspicuous by his absence, uh, Elijah Arenas must be injured. I'll have to double check on it, but as you can see, he is not in this box score. So anyway, sorry about that. I'll uh, get let you guys get back to the video. So we're about to simcast our game against the Cavaliers, and we went 2-2 two and two in Hardy's absence, and you live with that. I mean, we take that all day. All right, let's see here. We are in Louisville. Whew, I would love to be able to jump into this one. It is close. It is close. Very close game. All right, let's see how this thing shakes up here in the fourth. I'm not going to speed it up too much. All right, we are pulling away a little bit. They're coming back back okay they're making it a game for sure all right now we've pulled away yeah 14 point game safe to say i think we've taken that one my boys we have taken that game but another thing i'm gonna do though is on one of these games we're gonna jump in and we're gonna watch the cpu play that was uh one of the recommendations and not only that but a, a few of you uh, a few people in the discord actually had dm'd me and said something about that they liked that idea because i had mentioned it a few people said that they liked that idea so um yeah, I just want to see how the team plays without us at the helm and, uh, you know, see how the offense is run. So we beat the defending champs with a team effort with Ace Bailey and Ron Holland leading the way. Hardy in his first game back with a double, double man, 22-5-10. and 10. He had a steal to go with it. Tough shooting night, 3 of 12, uh, you know, is not very Hardy-like, but Ace going 4 for 4. You absolutely love to see it. We had four guys, almost five guys. Uh, with 20 plus points, which is just phenomenal. I mean, this is the type of thing that you look at and you say, man, this team is really like, this is the best version of the Badgers that we may have ever seen. And I mean, in any generation, taking a look at the Cavs, man, it was Garland and Mobley doing most of the heavy lifting. Donovan Mitchell, kind of a rough game. He was uh, not very efficient, not a good shooting night. He was 0 of 5 from three, only one of eight from Mobley. Darius Garland was the only one really shooting all that well. So we still sit at second in the conference. Now we'll be taking on the 26 and 18 Pacers. Definitely want to simcast this one because I'm, I'm very curious to see, you know, after what they did to us last time. Granted, we were on lag, but this is still a tough team. Like, 
no lag or not, that would have been a very, very tough game. Let's see what they're able to do uh, against us here. Is this is this a home game? All right, so it looks like the injury status has been upgraded, and he is now just day-to-day. -day. Don't want to rush anything, though. We are going to leave the rotation alone. We definitely don't want to rush anything. Let's see what we can do against the Indiana Pacers here. Uh, this is an away game. This is an away game. Let's see. Let's see what we got. They get off to a quick start there. Definitely, definitely a tough start, but we come back. Let's speed it up a bit. Come on, Badgers. Come on, boys. And we take a lead. Yeah, this is a back and forth. Oh, no. Okay. Now they pull. Can we come back here? Do we jump in and see if we... Nah, man. 16 points. Should I try it? I'm going to try it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot. Let's, let's see if your boy can come back from 16 down to take this dub. I, it's going to be tough, man. It'll be very difficult, but just got to relax. Got to relax a little bit, see what I can do here. All right, we foul. Uh, four on, that's four on Koa Pete. We foul your boy Teron Stokes. Come on, Badgers. Let's, let's go, boys. Let's go. Might have to change some of the matchups here. Got him. Got him jumping. All right, now we're going to the line. We are going to the line now with Holland. I wish the Pacers were in their new uh, their new unis, man. I made them some statement, you know, uniforms, but I can't control that. There we go. Give me a rebound, baby. Let's go. That's oh my God, bro. We are built different. Let's go, Stefan Castle, 18, three and one. Come on. String together a few stops, man. We can make this a game. We can make it interesting. At the very least. That's a guy we got to stay with there. <laughs> Nikola Topic. I, I swear this dude. Bro, he always gets up to play the Badgers. Always. Let's go, Ace. 20, bro, Ace Bailey. He's back, he's healthy, and he has been putting up numbers. You know, I like, it's a great thing to see. Get a hand up there. All right. Need Caleb Gaskins to be a little bit more. There you go. Nice cut, Ronnie. 13 points. Like I said, man, string together some stops. Piece by piece. Brick by brick. Chip away at this thing. That's not good. He left me. He missed. Run with me. This is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Let's go, Ron Holland. Boys, that boy is different. Yeah, here's a list Come on, man. Don't want to do and right Defense now. Oh, man, that was a nice one by Rose. Nice one by Hendricks Rose. That's okay. He missed. Oh, what the... Caleb Gaskins with the put-back dunk. That was crazy. The one-handed put-back dunk on a shot that I probably had no business taking with Stefan Castle. I haven't scored with Hardy so far at all in this. There's going to be a mismatch now down low. Somebody better help Hardy on that. That's Caleb Gaskins. You can't let Halliburton do that, do you? Yeah, man, I'm telling you, this Indiana team is just, they're too good, man. They're too good to come back like, like that on them. Oh, that was a green release, and he blocked it. That was what he was doing to me in the last game a lot, man. Albeit on lag, but still, no excuse this time. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna that that should that should be the dagger. Small layup is the dagger right there. That 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 eliminates all hopes that we probably maybe had of coming back. I don't think it's I don't think it's possible now, boys. We gave it our best shot. So as you can see, man, Topic and Halliburton doing work on us at 16 assists for Halliburton is crazy. 
Taran Stokes, the rookie, even put up 20 in this game. He's having himself a season so far, man. Topic, we already know what Nikola Topic is all about. Just 28 points a game, putting up 34 in this one. But as you can see, man, Hardy, another great game. Ace Bailey has been so impressive lately. Uh, it, it's just, like, it's crazy. He's getting the starter minutes, and he is showing up for sure. Castle, great game. Uh, but, you know, even though we couldn't get it done, I'm still proud of the boys. Uh, you know, just a rough third quarter there. Really what it boils down to. So the next game I think that I want to simcast is, uh, I think that the next two that we'll simcast in this episode will do the Spurs and we'll do the Washington Wizards because the Wizards do have a uh, new look. They got a new uniform. So maybe that's the one. One of them will jump in and just see how the team plays when they're being controlled by the CPU, see what kind of actions they run and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll do those two. Since we already did the Cavs, we'll skip by them. So yeah, we'll do the Spurs and the Wizards. Uh, and again, as we go through these types of episodes, if there's any of these uh, teams on, on the schedule that you guys want to see me do a simcast and possibly jump into the game against them, definitely let me know. I'm definitely going to play a full game as well. I think the next one I'll do before the Saturday Night Live stream this Saturday, I'll do, I think, Milwaukee. We'll do the Bucks before the March 22nd matchup. Uh, that'll just be a recorded, you know, recorded video. Uh, so we'll do that one and see how that one goes. All right, here we go. Wayne Carmichael, injury healed. It's definitely nice to have him back against uh, Embiid. So simulating through the Sixers and the Warriors games, looks like we split the two. Taking a look at the box score on the Sixers game, Castle and Hardy leading the way. Ace Bailey as well, 24 for Castle. He had nine boards, three assists, two steals, and a block. Just filling up that stat sheet, man. Hardy, 21-7, 1-1. One one. Ace Bailey, another, <laughs> like... Look at the defensive numbers just all the way around. 20 points, 4 boards, 7 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Uh, kind of a quiet game. Quiet double-double for Ron Holland. And then Wayne, first game back, you know, just getting back into the swing of things. So, you know, he's, he's allowed some of those games. And, of course, having Embiid on him surely didn't help, man. Embiid is still a beast for a lanky guy like Carmichael who's still trying to put on some weight. Embiid put up 31-15. and 15. Maxi with a good game in this one as well. Uh, taking a look at the Warriors game, it was B-Pod putting up 31-11-3. This man could have had a triple-double because usually he can he can get them assist numbers up there. Curry put up 24-7 and seven on us, had four assists as well. Man, the guards getting them rebounds on us, which is crazy. Uh, you know, don't know what was going on with Wayne in this one, but Hardy put up 37-6-3, but it wasn't enough to pull this one out. It looks like the Warriors, we went in to the fourth quarter tied and the Warriors took a fourth quarter on us uh, third and fourth big time which is very unusual for the Badgers so here we are against the Spurs man very very obviously very tough Spurs team at 29 and 20 right now we are going to go ahead and sim cast this game <sighs> definitely not looking forward to what could happen in this one uh, I don't know if we're at home or away but let's see so this is a home game, and it's also a nationally televised game. Let's see what happens against the San Antonio Spurs. We get off to a quick start. Let's speed it up a bit here. Oh, my God. Okay, we had a good first quarter, but then they had a great second quarter. Wow. This might be one of the ones that we jump into. Come on, Badgers. Keep it close, baby. Keep it close for me so I can hop in. Three-point game. Let's go just a little further here. Tie game with 450 to go. Ah, is this the one that we let the com that we let the computer play? I think we'll do that with the Washington game. I want I want to play this one. I just simmed it again by accident. All right, we're down three. Now we're definitely jumping in. I meant to hit jump in, and I hit simulate. Okay, come on, boys. Let's get it. Oh. Here's Hardy. Oh, that's a foul. Okay, we're going to the line. Boys, I thought Hardy would have definitely had uh, that three that I, or I'm sorry, Holland would have definitely had the three that I jacked up with him. Again, he's not the best three-point shooter, but I was wide open. By the way, I hope you guys like the new uh, kind of, I kind of made the jerseys a little bit off-white, like a cream color, so hope you guys like them. Oh my God, we got bailed. We got super bailed. I should not have hit that. But you know what? Maybe it's for all them times that I've had like 80 and 90% free throws that didn't go in. 
We've got Sadiq Bay. Come on, Wayne. Jalen Brown is out it's there. Wayne versus Wemby. This is wild, my boys. Wayne ver versus Wemby, tied at 100. Back to Bay. Pass to Hart. Just five Staggering to defense. Let's go. Here's Ooh, you can't call that a foul, bro. Come on, refs. Thank you. Ball don't lie, baby. Slow it down a little bit. Let's slow it down a little. I, that was stupid. Oh, what a shot. What a shot by Sadiq Bey. Let's talk about their blocks. When you're facing a team swatting shots, it becomes a mental situation as well. Bang! Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hit a number of threes in the first half. Now nails another. And so it's Wimbanyama with it. He brings it up for San Antonio. No way he hits that. Oh my god. DJ Wagner, bro. That was a line drive three-point shot, too, and he still somehow made that with me all over him. Don't call the illegal screen on Wayne, bro. It didn't even look like he was moving at all. Oh, man, boys. Come on, man. Not again. Oh, my God. Great defense. Go, Ace. Tried to sell. Just an unacceptable turnover. You have to know where you are on the court. And they know that. I mean, maybe it down low. Oh, Yama throws it to Man oh man. Come on, Badgers. We know how to win these. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Here's Hardy. There's no way he just missed. Did he really strip that without fouling? All over it. I'm all over that. Good. Right into his hands. You got to be kidding me. Back to Bay. Second shot opportunity. Thank you. Give me a rebound. Thank you. I sold. That was supposed to go to Castle, and I absolutely just butchered that. Get that out of here. That right there did it. Jalen Brown. Oh, oh, man. That was supposed to be a pass to Castle, and I accidentally passed it to, to Holland. Come on. All right. It's not. Uh, it's kind of over, right? If we get a steal, it's not, but. Oh, Wayne, you had that, baby. Wayne should have had that with his long arms. They set the pick. <clears throat> yeah, they're going to go ahead and just dribble this one out. No reason to really do a whole lot here. It's over. And we lose by seven. We lost by seven, man. We went in down by three. We even tied the game up. But tough, tough team, man. That is, that This first team is very tough. My mistakes, obviously, you know, cost us a bit there, but... It's all good. It's all good. This is also a little bit weird because I haven't had a full game to like get into my rhythm and warm up. But as you can see, man, 29-7-6 and six from Hardy. He had a great game. Castle with 19 in this one. Carmichael, a nice little double-double. Uh, you know, not enough to get it done in the end. But Wagner, man, I got to say, he hit that shot that he hit really, really just, it hit right here, man. That was a demoralizing shot. I thought there was zero chance that he was going to hit that. I figured we were going to get the rebound. And then it was going to be our, you know, our chance to come back up the floor and possibly make a shot to put us ahead. But when he hit that one, man, it was just like, I didn't see it. Maybe you boys did. Whether or not, you know, what the percent contested was or whether he was early or late on the shot. But I can't imagine that there's no way I hit a shot like that. You guys know that. But as you can see, man, Wemby doing Wemby things 24, 19, and 6. He had seven blocks. Are you kidding me, bro? He didn't block me once. So that means he had seven in the game the whole you know prior to that uh but Jaleel Bethay this this whole team 
you know, just insane. Just a great team, and they showed us a small little, small little sample of what makes them so good. Uh, but now we'll go up to this Washington uh, game here on February 5th. We're getting close to the trade deadline. I will say this. If we reach the trade deadline prior to that Washington game, I will skip that one. And then we will, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, and do it in the next episode. But hopefully, I do believe that it is on that day. Okay, so it looks like the trade deadline is right here on February the 3rd, my boys. I thought it was actually like the 5th or the 6th. Uh, and I thought it usually landed on a Friday, but I guess I was wrong on that assessment. Obviously, we, we do want to stop. We do want to stop, and I'm going to tell you why. We gotta, I, I got I to gotta ask you guys, and I got to let you guys vote on what do we do with Grady Dick. Obviously, we know what his contract situation is. He only signed a one-year deal back. That's what we matched. We matched a one-year deal. Do we keep him? And then let him walk in the offseason because I I don't think we're, we're not going to have the money for him. Even with having his bird rights, there are just too many other guys on the team that we have to retain. Uh, we're not going to be able to, to keep Grady, I don't think, at least. But uh, assuming we can't keep him, my question to you, do we move him or do we hang on to him and say, you know what, we might be able to make a run at this thing to a finals run this year possibly. And having him would be a big boost as he runs that second unit. As you can see, taking a look at the contract. Yes, he is. Hold up. The contract we matched included a no trade clause. <laughs> he might have made our decision for us already, my boys. So, you know what? It might not be that bad, honestly. Uh, like, he runs that second unit for us. And it's one of them things where... You know, having a guy like that on the team is never a bad thing. It's never a bad thing to have him for the rest of the season, especially with his shooting. Uh, so, you know what? I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys vote on it. Do we keep him around for the rest of this year? You know, uh, under the assumption that we might be able to really, really make a deep run in the playoffs because he will help us. He will help us a lot if that if that is the case. But anyway, like I said, my boys, we are here. At the trade deadline, as you can see, we won our February 1st matchup against the Cavs. So we have now beat them twice. We beat them by 30 in this one. Ace put up 30 points. Cole with 25. Hardy with 23. Holland 17 and 10. Carmichael 14, 10 and 6. Great game all the way around. Ace has just been stepping up tremendously, man. Like, tremendously. So Same with Koa Pete. Uh, but... As you can see, Garland, and it was DeAndre Hunter, the newly acquired DeAndre Hunter. For those of you that aren't in the Discord, I will go ahead and put the trade up on the screen for you guys right now. But uh, the Hawks acquired, uh, uh, who was it, Isaac Okoro in this trade that sent DeAndre Hunter, who whose contract is, uh, he is under contract, but Okoro's contract is expiring. So Atlanta was trying to free up cap space. Uh, and didn't think Hunter was part of their long-term plans, I guess. So, uh, yeah, they're in a rebuild, obviously, considering they lost Trey Young. They've lost some of those, you know, DeJounte Murray, DeAndre Hunter. None of these guys are on the squad any longer. So they've hit the reset button. Uh, but as you can see, man, like I said, big, big dub here. But, again, we will be back very, very soon after we make the decision on Grady. Like I said, I'm just going to let you guys vote on it, and then I'm going to move forward, and we will make our way through to the All-Star break, and, uh, you know, we'll keep going from there. And for those of you that don't know, we will be live on Twitch tomorrow night, Friday night, May 24th, live on Twitch, the Code Name Cup for all of the hashtag ad players. It's been really exciting so far, man. So definitely check that out if you guys get a chance. And again, like I said, we will be back very, very soon to finish out simming through these games and getting all the way up to this March 22nd showdown with the Las Vegas Risk. So much love to all of you boys that made it for the video. If you could do me a favor and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And if you had a good time in this one, you know, give it a like. But again, we'll be back very soon. Much love to this entire community and to you, to everyone that showed up to see this video. I will catch you boys in the next one.